Hey everyone, we are now on to the next lecture where I'm talking about uh, working with multiple distributions uh, at the same time. Uh, so let's uh, first talk about distribution comparison. Oh, hold on. Uh, let's. I'm not sure if I'm going to need this library. So let's start installing that right now. Uh, 56. All right. Okay. So uh, in this lecture, we're going to be talking about distribution comparison. Uh, the purpose of this little talk is we are we have two samples, and we are curious on whether the distributions of those samples are the same or whether they're different. And you can use statistical tests to answer this question, but you can also use visualization techniques. And the visual the, the visualization techniques are often quite effective because there's a lot of things that you can see visually that a statistical test won't tell you. So, in fact, an additional thing is that a statistical test might conclude that two distributions are different when if you were to just look at those data sets yourself in a picture, you might say, well, I guess technically they're different, but not practically. So having a good look at a visual at a at a distribution comparison can be uh, important. So. Um, all right. So a lot of the plots that we've already seen are already well equipped to uh, do comparisons of distribution. So one thing that we could do is create two stem and leaf plots back to back where the stem and leaf plots share common stems but have uh, different leaves from different uh, data sets. So there's a function in this uh, library that I just installed called APL pack. So, so let's load in APL pack and uh, there's a function called stem leaf backpack uh, that can create such comparative stem and leaf plots. So uh, let's go ahead and let's examine the tooth growth data set, uh, which is a data set that uh, tracks the length of tooth growth in guinea pigs' teeth. Uh, here's kind of what this data set are, is looking like. We have actually a couple factors by which we could say there's different uh, samples. So we first, uh, let's actually look at the, the uh, first few rows of this data set. All uh, right. So, all right, this data set is actually a long form format in a sense, um, or at least is supportive of it because we have the length of teeth, we have what supplement type a guinea pig was given, so this represents one guinea pig, and their dosage. And we might be curious, how does the dosage affect the amount of tooth growth and how does the supplement type affect the amount of tooth growth, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to split this data set based on both. Well, no, not not both, just the supplement type. So we're going to ignore effectively uh, the um, the dosage amount, which honestly is not something that you should do in a real study. You shouldn't just ignore the dosage amount, but we're going to do it here because we're more interested in how the software works. So here is lens split. This is what it looks like. We end up with... Um, we end up with a, a, a list containing two vectors, uh, orange, uh, the OJ vector and the VC vector corresponding to the different possible values of SUP. And notice here that what we used was the split function, where we gave for, to the split function first the variable that we were trying to split. In this case, it was len. Uh, this is a vector. Notice that this was all wrapped within a with call uh, so that I didn't have to use tooth growth dollar len, tooth growth dollar SUP. But anyway, uh, we have the len variable, which is a vector. That, that's the vector that we end up splitting. And this other vector tells us how it's going to be split because it's a factor vector that uh, contains the different categories for different possible groups. Okay, so I uh, next... Um, let's see. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is kind of pull those out of the uh, resulting vector. And then I'm going to do stem.leaf dot backpack well why, wait a minute I, i've already got this in here i don't really know why this has been commented out uh maybe i'll find out oh there's nothing wrong with it all right so here is a uh back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot let's examine it together um it looks to me well okay these two data sets have the same sa size um if i had to guess it looks like there was more tooth growth from the orange juice data set than there was from the vitamin c uh, group or the orange juice group as opposed to the vitamin C group. 
Uh, oh, I think, uh, let's see. Oh, this is very nice. It's uh, telling you, uh, this is telling you how many observations on this side there was up to this point. So there's one, um, there was one guinea pig in this uh, less than or equal to five group. Uh, and then there was one, where, and then there's six, which is, there's five in this particular group, but then there's the one right before it. And then there's six in this group, so 12 up to this point. Then it tells us how many are in the modal group, or the, the modal bin. And we have something similar going in the opposite direction on the lower end. So that's a nice way to read this. So that was very nice of the function to do that for us. Um, so it's kind of giving us counts that we could use for maybe computing some uh, quick probabilities or something. Um, we can also use comparative box plots. We've seen comparative box plots before. Uh, a simple call to the function uh, box plot OJVC will give us a nice comparative box plot where we can see. Uh, let's see. So um, the first group is the orange juice group, and the second group is the vitamin C group. And we can see that the orange juice group seemed to grow more than the vitamin C group, but also the vitamin C group is more spread out. Uh, so that's an interesting uh, feature. And uh, finally, uh, I, I would rather this be master. Okay. So uh, another thing that we could use are comparative density plots. So we could plot a density plot for one group and then the density plot for the other group and then compare the two densities. And we see, all right, so the black line corresponds to the orange juice group and the dashed line, the vitamin C. And it does look like, again, that the vitamin C group has a lower tooth growth than the orange juice group, but also the vitamin C group looks more spread out than the orange tooth growth, uh, orange, orange juice group. All right, so that's basically all I wanted to say for now, uh, just uh, looking at some ways to compare uh, distributions, and I hope you learned a lot. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the R model formula interface, uh, this uh, Y tilde X business, uh, or Y tilde X plus Z business, uh, or maybe sometimes with the uh, with the horizontal line, in, as in the case of a uh, lattice, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how that interface is working because it's actually an important part of R. So, all right. So that's that. See you later.